Something a little different this week. Most of the time I'm telling about places to run and see and do. This week we're talking about sitting down, having a drink, and gazing out at the beautiful city around you. We'll start at Rockefeller Center, at 30 Rock, that 30 Rock, uh, of the famous TV show, home of Saturday Night Live, that beautiful Art Deco building, which is constantly re restored and maintained. And if you go up to Bar 65, which is their bar associated with the Rainbow Room on the 65th floor, you get a beautiful view of the city looking down towards the Empire State Building and the World Financial Center off in the distance. It's kind of a dressy place. You should be there uh, accordingly. For men, they request collared shirts. That'll give you an idea of the dress code. Uh, moving downtown, you can go to the Broadway Lounge. That's the eighth floor bar and lookout at the Marriott Marquis. What I like about that location is that you're getting the view you would get if you watch New Year's Eve on television at home looking at Times Square. You're eyeball to eyeball with all of the neon signs. You're low down. You're really seeing the city streets, the city scene beneath you. And you are in this very busy and exciting confluence of Broadway and 7th Avenue. Very exciting place to have such a close down perch. Uh, if you're looking for something higher up, go a block or two further uptown, and the Hyatt has its club, I'm sorry, Bar 54, which is uh, their lookout bar on the 54th floor. It's a much newer building, not quite the same history that 30 Rock has, but if you have theater tickets, both of these locations, the Bar Lounge and Bar 54, are perfect because you're right in the theater district. You can get something before or you can get something after. Finally, 230 Fifth Avenue, that's Fifth Avenue and 26th Street, right next to Madison Square Park. This is kind of cool. What they have done is in the winter months, they've, they have constructed igloos, inflatable igloos out of a see-through material that provide some amount of heat. Each of the igloos holds between eight and 12 people. So unless you're a group of eight or 12, you'll be in the igloo together with some newly made friends. But it gives you that indoor and outdoor experience. You're a little bit closer to the downtown World Financial Center and those sites. And I think you'll find that this is probably the most uh, you know, youthful, energetic of the four locations. So depending on whether you want the institutional feel or you want something that's a little bit more edgy, you'll make your decisions. But I think all of the choices are great choices, and all of the choices give you an opportunity to really take in the very famous New York City skylight, whether it's in the afternoon, whether it's at sunset, or whether you're seeing all the twinkling lights in the evening. Enjoy cosmopolitan New York. Enjoy our metropolis. And we'll see you again soon.